Okay, blocking bad publishers on Facebook audience network. Okay, and also adjusting it in general. I don't know how many of you know it, um, but there is actually a better way of controlling Facebook's audience network uh, as a placement and the traffic that you're getting from there. I haven't really seen anyone else talk about it, so I thought I'd make a video about it. First of all, let me tell you guys, even though it sounds big, it's not going to be a, such a big game changer since you can't really send out the specific parameter that shows the specific publisher that you're getting uh, on, on any tracker and stuff like that just because Facebook doesn't allow it, not because of, of, of tracker um, uh, stuff. Um, so you can't really decide which publisher you want to scale or something, something like that. You can't be the just publishers. But it, it is cool that Facebook shows us a, a certain amount of stuff. So, by the way, I have to say, if you did find a way of showing where specific clicks and conversions come from, uh, from inside the audience network placement, so let me know either in the comments below or just um, direct message me because it's really interesting. Um, but what you can do is, first of all, you can see if there is an app or a publisher that doesn't really fit the targeting that you want. So, for example, if you uh, see this kids game application and you know that you're targeting really uh, older, like maybe parents or something like that, you might want to block it. But how you do it is, first of all, by clicking on the menu, going into brand safety, and then you can see delivery reports and choose what type of, of placements you want to uh, see. So, for example, if we are going to take a look at audience network natives and ban banners, uh, uh, we can see the numbers of impressions we're getting there from each publisher and even block it. So, if we're not sure what type of application or publisher it is, we can also click on it and see where, where it leads us. So, this is where also stuff gets like really nice because you know me, I like to manipulate and I like to take it to the next level. Uh, so outside of the obvious things that we can do with this uh, information and knowledge, like blocking publishers that we wouldn't want to target and creating a publisher list that we want to block on all of our other um, ad accounts if we're doing something similar or maybe pushing the same product, we can also define why, how, how we, we can do two things. First of all, we can define how wide we want Facebook to deliver our ads uh, when it comes down to the audience network of course and how we're gonna do it is under controls and uh, then choose inventory filter and we're gonna see how wide we want to get from the full inventory to the more limited inventory and I think there's a small opportunity here because um, the audience network has really low prices but uh, we can get even lower prices and more publishers just because people most people aren't playing around with those settings right now and they're staying, staying with the standard inventory that you want to get and there might be a lot of really cheap traffic coming from the full inventory. The other cool manipulation that I found to be interesting would be downloading the full whitelist, like the full publisher list from Facebook by clicking on publisher allow lists and then removing from the list the, 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 the list, the, the ones, the publishers that you want to save, that you want to serve ads on, and then just adding the rest of the list, the ones that you didn't delete, into the block list. So that way you just exclude everything outside what you want to do as a white list and maybe get some traffic. Uh, this is not something I really tested on a high scale, but it might be very, very nice to test it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.